I'm Steven from the Somerset and I'm here to talk about Legendary. I think it's great, I think it's good to send a, a positive message, especially our last record was kind of sad. Um, it was kind of a downer record and um, we didn't really want to do that with this one. We kind of wanted to be a little more uplifting. Um, and I think it's a cool, I think it's a cool thing uh, to, to say to kids, you know, try to be the best version of yourself. Um, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like that like cheesy army saying like, be all that you can be, but it's cooler. And, and the song it, itself is very uplifting. It's just got this like certain, I remember the first time I heard it, I was like, I just thought there was just like, this like, this quality about it that just made you feel like you were like on top of a mountain, like, you know, on top of the world. And, and, that, and that translated over, it wasn't just, you know, the band members that, that feel that way about the song, it translated over to fans, and, and fans have told us that they feel the same way about it. it it's kind of uplifting, it's um, inspiring, I guess. The last track, Legendary, um, <clears throat> uh, kind of resonates with me. Um, that song was written at a, ha at a house we lived at together last summer, and we got the house to, to write the record. And we didn't, we didn't really write a lot, we drank a lot, and we hung up by the pool a lot. But this song came from that house, and I remember Brian came to me with a chorus, and I was kind of drunk. And uh, he's like, check out this chorus, it's awesome. I was like, yeah, that's so good, you know? I was like, excited. And I was like, I have this drum loop that could work for it, and like, it totally worked with like his, his like, uh, with his chorus. And then Josh had like this piano part that he wrote like forever ago. And it just all kind of like fit, you know? Like different pieces from like different members that we wrote at different times. But it all like came together and that was like the start of the record. I was like, this is, this is gonna be cool. Like, let's take this and like, let's run with it. We grew up a lot. We grew down a lot. Um, it was like our first summer where we, we weren't on tour. We could just kind of live like semi-normal lives and you know we saw a lot of our, our friends that we hadn't seen in years from, from growing up and I think that kind of gave us things to write about you know when you're on tour it's like like all you can really like write about or relate to is like I miss home like I'm really tired I just played an awesome show but when you're at home and, and you start to have like different interactions with friends and family and people and your band members, I think that gives you more, I think it gets you more inspired to write about uh, life and about things that people, everyone can relate to. You know, not everyone can relate to like life on tour. And I think it's important like when you're writing records to just come home and like live a little and then write about it. Oh yeah, Rescue's great. I, actually the first verse, my brother wrote the first verse and um, it's some, of my, it's some of my favorite lyrics because it kind of captures like, uh, you know, the whole like, it kind of captures the, the house to me in a way, but also captures that, that uneasiness of like, of like, you know, leaving your friends, whether it be like graduating and you know, going off to college or whether it be, you know, just hopping in a van and touring the country. Uh, just a lot of those lyrics in that first verse, I can like really relate to like a lot of like nights at the house. Uh, just those like, it's not stereotypical, but those conversations that always seem to happen when you've had like a few beers and all of a sudden you're you're like getting all deep. And it starts off really deep and then it kind of just goes off the deep end and doesn't make any sense. But that song especially resonates with me and it, it does bring me back to the, the house that we were living at together. Yeah, it was like it was like college, it was like the college experience that we never had. You know? Like I went to I went to I went to ASU for like a semester, but I was like working so hard at like trying to get this band somewhere that I never really like did college like, or what most people like say college is. So I feel like what we did last summer was like college, like the summer set goes to college. I think, I think we're, I think we've all grown up together as, as people and as musicians and I'm proud of where we're at right now and I'm, I'm excited to see where else it's gonna go. When I hear the the word legendary, I think of like a really big like kitten with lasers shooting out of its eyes, like taking over a city. 